Quel est le privilège des morts June 18, 2021 it is, and I'd like to give a comment on a pre-planned meeting between, which took place between Joe Biden and Vlad, Vladimir Putin uh, in Switzerland, in Geneva, Switzerland. Uh, I hope when I said pre-planned, and since this is really coming from my mouth, uh, an alien a non-existing creature, an alien um, on the planet Earth that that's not going to trigger tentacles, uh, American foreign diplomacy interface that will hunt me down through a Slovenian and diplomacy just like they like to well, murder people all over the world. Uh, that's how they silence people. That's why. That's how. That's that. Actually, the diplomacy, American diplomacy, in different from Soviet legacy, and that's what this video is about. Operates in year 1995. This thing here, what you see, this is American embassy. In this American embassy, this is in Israel. This is American embassy in Israel. I hope will resolve all the issues for you. Yeah, actually, you're on a heartbeat. I hope so. Um, to me, it's kind of strange this pre-planned meeting. Really, seriously. I know the Russians are meddling in American elections uh, and now even fucking aliens even we are meddling in the US elections Obama is actually looking for aliens Obama is looking for aliens and, and so are other uh, so are others they're, they're, they're asking them they're, they, they deem that there is like intellectual life beyond ours not the kind of alien I am you know, not the kind of alien that they delete you from the right to get employment, uh, to obtain employment from the right of anything. Uh, basically, something like in line with Holodomor. You know, no right to work, but the right to cancer, uh, spine breaking issues, unlimited abuse, torture, and that kind of stuff. Something I would, I think, in line with that kind of stuff. Maybe the opposite from Holodomor in this case uh, is a torture issues that are used uh, and in a contrast to the lack of food, they try to stuff you with the stress, anxiety, other issues that actually contribute to a weight. Um, exactly in contrast to that, can also be done and that's pretty much in this so-called upside down world but not aliens like myself that don't exist uh, and you know Democrat Party knows about the aliens this is also about Obama uh, and Biden and Joe Biden they know more about my kind of aliens let me tell you if not about those other aliens for whom they deem they're more intellectual more advanced than our culture, our race, human race, um, but man, they know more than anybody else does. They started this case. This case was started in year 1995 by no other individual than Joe Biden, who have sworn himself in my face in front of Vladimir Putin, he eventually will kill me. 
because I was a racist, because I was whatever, anti-Russian and so on and so forth. A very, very brave man popped up, thirsty and hungry for the political career. His name was Joe Biden, and that's how he entered this big arena. Uh, this unforgettable 95, might have been even 96, I don't know, but I think it was 95. Uh, deeming that I'm a fucking nobody, nothing. What the fuck he can do with me? What the just Joe can do with me? My God. Uh, Joe was disregarded. At that opportunity, Joe was not taken seriously. Uh, Joe was shown the middle finger by little me. Uh, I sent him somewhere in the same way I sent him today, 26 years later. Uh, and he did build entire political career on this knowledge of aliens. Um, he built the case hiding himself behind the Republican Party with other courageous Democrats that's we're talking about Obama and you know the whole crew of this uh, Luftars, this uh, <laughs> Propalitza I don't even know how you would express yourself this in English but this is not a good word for the kind of people um, they deeming to know nothing about what went on um, that's what they did. That's what they claimed that uh, pretend, pretended because it's like in 2001. After like 2001, that's when they like exploded, and all of a sudden they knew everything. They knew everything. Like six years, they knew nothing. But after 2001, they fucking knew everything. Uh, you know, that in 2001 it was a September 11. So they know nothing about it. Now, in meanwhile, they have all kinds of requests. I was not willing to fulfill, unfortunately, for the Democrat Party because it was none of my interest and all those requests were in contrast with U.S. Constitution. They were all via every one of them was a rape violation of the U.S. Constitution alone. Never mind international treaties, laws, and so on. Never mind. So I just plain fear and square disregarded and disregarded them. Made fun out of them. Uh, started to really resent them for the criminal attitude they displayed against me. Actually, even a foreign national, not only American citizen. I became American citizen in 2000. But. I was born in Slovenia. I am Slovenian before I am American. It took a Joe a considerable amount of time, uh, you know, all kinds of issues and shit he would use, he would give, build, lie parallel to the Democrat Party that used me for the mo for the dirtiest things you possibly can imagine. Literally for the neo-Nazi purposes, issues. And they did got support. They did got support for such, stu such stuff from the Serbia and they got the support for such stuff from Russia. Particularly from Vladimir Putin already from 1995. We have a Moscovich here beating me up. America brought me here beating me up here in the memorials of the partisans uh, claiming that I don't like them and this and that you know, until I started to really resent the whole thing and once I started to curse the whole thing out loud that's when they presented me also to the public uh, before that everything they have also video recording I started to redistribute this kind of material yeah never mind probably not only the Russian schizophrenic side, uh, Slovenian schizophrenic side, um, Eastern European schizophrenic side, but I am sure also over there to the U.S. And they had a plan, they had like a total crew for that kind of stuff, so they could do that. Um, 
pre-planned meeting, however, did took place. And when it comes to pre-planned meeting, you should understand that I know what the fuck I was talking about on my new site, especially because of this thing here, what I am going to tell you about American Embassy in Israel is the only thing in 95. I'm going to tell you that in 95 and in 96, I don't think the Russians have had any kind of embassy in Israel. I don't think they had anything in Israel. But it was an American embassy where Vlad, Vladimir Putanovich, Moskvich and his crew would stay inside. They, they were hosted inside in 95, in 96, in 97 and so on. This was their home in Israel. For several years, this here, this was their home in Israel. This fortress here that you see it. This is where the torture would go within state of the Israel without even Israelis knowing, I think, in my opinion, what the fuck went on here. Right here in this fortress that you see here. This is American embassy in Israel. So, pretty much I am certain that you can guess what exactly my opinion is for something I was even taught what the case is going to be. What, after all, do you think about uh, such diplomacy? Well, even Americans, that's like a first class human rights country in the world, you would say, right? You know, the kind of country that hunts through Democrat Party neo-Nazis. They're always on the lookout for the neo-Nazis. They're always on the lookout. And unfortunately for me, sometimes in like 90, 99, 98 actually, uh, they traced this case and they started to follow this case yeah they started to follow this case and it was man this and all this mk ultra stuff how i'm gonna make it was from the beginning a few millions and then it was already like 500 millions in zakopane it was like 97 maybe even 96 i don't know german government if i can prove this case uh it became the thing impossible man because you know the democrat party uh, started to investigate this and then things started to complicate you know, what, it, what I mean by this things started to complicate well what I mean exactly by this is that there was more stuff I had only to take in consideration of course like a play with directed energy weapons it would take place I wouldn't only be drugged up anymore and tortured life threatened and so on uh, it it was upgraded the trips from Western Europe became like a more and more frequent to Russia, to the Belarus, especially to the Russia, and of course to Poland, which got a hold of my case entirely in 99, at my big fucking disappointment. Czech Republic and Poland. Uh, I felt I was fucking dead, man. That's what I felt. I, th I felt that I didn't, they didn't even dare to me, that they mentioned to me like, like sh 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 something like this, Merkel did. Um, little did I believe that would be actually possible, but it was actually this was possible, just like this pre-planned meeting between Joe Biden and Vlad Vladimirovich Putin. Uh, Twenty-six years after, it's fucking possible, believe it or not. In 2001, things became like completely no, no longer possible to, you know, it, it went from like, it, 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 we got, uh, we, we, they discovered us, and all of a sudden it wasn't, they fucking discovered us already in 95 and in 96 and in 97 and so on. Uh, for that matter, you can ask Mrs. Harris, Mrs. Kamala Harris, you can ask what I mean when I say about 95, 96, about the marriage stuff with Kamala Harris, you can fucking ask. 
you can ask that fucking thing. She was involved in it, and I should have fucking married her. That's the kind of stuff I am talking about. So, they just discovered us sometimes in 98, I don't know, 99, and all that money became really complicated, and now we're going to have to share all this, and I don't know what's going to be. Uh, the list of these demands was just growing up, but none of them were according to the U.S. Constitution or international treaties, totally anti-fucking human rights. But at my disappointment, the people at UN and Amnesty and everywhere else, they claim to this alien that MKUltra is actually completely legitimate, it's actually admitted, and it's actually according, that's actually the law, that this is actually the proper way of doing it, that this is the way it's evaluated the people and, and you know, all that kind of stuff. This is just the way it is. And meanwhile, I have a Chetniks here, not too far away, the Strula Castle, wanted me to actually compete here with the locals who claim me also, Alexander Vucic, Karadzic, Milosevic, uh, serial killers, killers uh, child, some child in Hog, Sheshel and so on, war criminals, Balkan butchers, literally, uh, on how they have proven, uh, like, to be valuable to the Serbian, to the Russian stuff, and it's not up to me to prove that under MK Ultra and stuff, it's fucking abuse from Bosnian Ross, like front line. Here at the Struga, they have a golf course here. They have a golf course where you go play golf. And they have like, um, like banks protected with a weird barrier like this. Uh, one time I'm going to take a photo and post that, you know, on the internet. And every time they would bring me to that location where they play their golf, but they had this thing, this, this bank, that would block the landslide with those uh, wooden made, uh, like a barrier, I fucking thought that I'm again on, in a Bosnia, on a fucking front line. Uh, where Chetniks was with the fucking Chetniks all over inside those uh, these ditches guarded inside and I would walk between those literally here shooting like you wouldn't fucking believe almost like in a fucking Vietnam this is where United States of America government brought me uh, swearing to me they're gonna fucking kill me and I don't know what uh, demonstrating me how they have me and so I guess that I did suffer it's just like a kind of uh, partisan memorial so every time I would see that shit I would like act on a reflex uh, I, I would get like pissed off and uh, they, they they would have a difficulty controlling me right here on the golf course whenever the fuck I would saw that Mr. Biden um, so, when I think about, you know, when I think about that fucking lie that you knew nothing about, that you knew absolutely nothing about what the fuck went on, uh, just so that you could complicate more and lie more for the Chetniks, for the Serbian Chetniks, for the Russians, so they could murder more, not only myself here, they had already Russians already in Bosnia attacking Croats and Bosnian people with engaging against them with a fucking military. Russians, not Serbs alone. Killing over there Ukrainians all over Ukraine with the terrorists' attacks and then taking Crimea and creating war in Donetsk. You fucking feed them with uh, plans on how to assemble tanks and airplanes and stuff like that uh, the more that I think about this pre-planned meeting and about the stuff how you were discovering about my case blowing lies about me being a Nazi and I don't know um, 
the more I feel truly connected to those aliens Obama talked about. Yeah, because I realize that this human rights in the United States of America uh, you supposedly represent and you don't. You don't represent them. You represent some other option. It's okay. American people are yet to learn what exactly do you represent. Um, the more I think about all this, the more it pops up to me in my mind the thought about what exactly that higher culture uh, would think about this whole planet because of your culture because your culture is completely indifferent really from that Soviet culture like you are like the biggest fan Mr. Biden, Mr. Joe Biden of the Soviet Union 26 years ago and the people that you said that the people like myself you would just fucking kill you told me this 26 years ago in the United States of America Let me tell you something, who else would kill before they would make even initial contact? That more advanced culture. And not because of me, not because of the rest of the world. But if they would, or they did somehow got a hold of this case, and they know what the fuck you're doing on this planet here. There are so many subcultures, I think, in this universe just like ours is and if there is such a culture more advanced culture why the fuck would they assemble this kind of uh, samples of species that are directed towards self in extinction anyways with a, such a disgusting beyond disgusting ways anyway like you are for instance what you represent with Mr. Vladimir Putin with this Moskvich Russian so you see, I also know something about this alien culture. I'm unsure if one exists, just as I stated, but I know for sure, for fact, what exactly one would do with us if they would eventually find out. Unfortunately, with the entire planet, really. If they would learn maybe about us. Because it's just more advanced, right? They know about other aliens on this planet too, I'm sure. Before they make those initial contacts and stuff like that, as advanced cultures they might be, I'm sure they're interested in learning more about with whom they're about to get in contact. Rather than to get in contact and then learn with whom they have a pleasure, an honor, to deal with. So I wouldn't be so optimistic about that, Mr. Obama. Um, you know, the politicians, the politicians make money with hatred. And this video, just like Joe Biden, just like Vladimir Putin, is all about hatred because Thanks God for hatred, we have a brave leaders like Vlad, Vladimirovich, Putin, and Irish Joe Biden. This pre-planned meeting you see here, for which Putin, by the way, told me he's going to express this here, that there's no happiness in life after his meeting with Biden and bravely he explained further that happiness this is just a hmm, illusion let me demonstrate to you I see a lot of words like confident balanced professional you know that kind of stuff To what I would refer to as misery loves company and when I see these two guys here I think about 
it could not be more correct saying than what it is. A mirage, as Putin said. There was only a mirage on the horizon. That's what Putin told me. That's what Vladimir Putin told me. If the meeting is going to go well for him, this is what the fuck this is. That's all I'm ever going to get in life. It's going to be just a mirage, mirage on the horizon, you see. This is, this is the hope. Oh, the hope, as I was also teached, thought, dies last. No. That's. That was, that's pretty much how the politicians make money. And believe it or not, it's their Soviet American Parliament and Soviet Duma that rates, it appears like, that rates uh, this kind of politician, politicians, it goes same to Morawiecki, it goes same to Kaczynski, and it goes same for this Andrzej Dud and so on. It looks like that they rate them according to a successful, um, well, uh, shit they managed to produce, like hatred, like on a political stage, like when I say a Russian Muscovich, when I bark this, that's basically what uh, gives them a power and that's how they give them more uh, reason to stay. But I'm going to touch that for you. Uh, for me personally, um, I'm going to say that if the culture is so low, if they were such a low creatures that they do the stuff like this, um, that they think they can afford to do the stuff like that, I don't really want their assistance, I don't really want their help, I don't want their empathy. I don't want their sympathy. If they are on a, such a low conscience level, and I'm talking about the Russians right now, to whom we supposedly are related, just as to the Pollocks and to the Czechs and so on, let them fucking keep that stuff. I, it's really not of my interest, any of it. I'm going to put it this way. When you already go through everything and you prove everything yourself, you obtain and they fuck you up and with a cancer they break your spine and stuff like this who the fuck needs their empathy who the fuck needs their um sympathy who the fuck needs their support from the people like this why would you why would i a beautiful article of this political side this yahoo releases at the same time no This is this is this is what they do. They they literally assemble the site according to MK Ultra. I had been sold. Ex pleasure wife expresses regret. And if you go down, Russian state trash has been been choice of Thai saying look like belong to the kids collection. To me personally, they both look retarded. To be honest with you, they both look like animals to me. They don't look like a human beings to me at all. They still do. After 26 years, they still do. Biden, Putin summit, president who almost lost his school. It was a U.S. president who almost lost his school. Yeah. This news, this must be just in. This must be just in because a few minutes when I started to record this stuff, it was not. RNC without the hint of irony slams Biden from meeting with Putin. This is not all new during this recording. They released that kind of news. But before, it was all other stuff they would talk about. Putin deflects question on human rights record rants that he does not have to. Uh, talks about the Black Lives Matter riots and so on. Man, if I wouldn't seriously most seriously if i would not russian cyber attacks if i wouldn't listen if i wouldn't 
go and do this here before I started this meeting you would say probably I'm insane but I did I took a note and I took about the pie they were asking about the pie what's gonna be that Biden meets with Putin for the first time taking uh, I actually rated Vladimir Putin like complete idiot everything he presented during MK Ultra I rate it as a complete idiot, as a below animal. I'm gonna put it this way. It in real time still still stays the same, however. Biden meets with Putin for the first time since taking office. Oh, let me see that stuff. Yeah, this is what it was a few minutes ago when I started to record this stuff. And this no happiness in life. Yeah, that kind of stuff would really infuriate you. And then this stuff here. Trump owned yacht. How a Khashoggi family member helped mold the U.S.-Saudi relationship. And they talk about the lady uh, that was young and uh, wanted to be, I don't know, a model, yeah, uh, working in Paris. And she got unexpected, you know. She got unexpected offer from agent Monte Carlo. Uh, and then Saudi arms dealer Khashoggi got her in hands and then I guess it was sex to which to me it appears did not object uh, the only thing that bothers me really is that it states here right at the top that the lady claims that she was sold well the thing is that let me put it this way I was not sold. I never agreed to be abducted, to be hijacked, to be tortured. I never ever agreed to any of that stuff. This was abduction, torture. They drug me up. They throw me in trunk. Almost. And did with me whatever they were pleased. This is not the same thing, but it is that because of the people like this lady, Hooker, whore, slut, and normal people get screwed. A lot of normal ladies get destroyed like this because her news, her hooker, slut story blends literally into reality of horror of aliens like myself that also exist here in this planet that's why i don't like that if you're a slut if you're a whore and i have come across a lot of sluts i came across a lot of whores with all kinds of backgrounds from all kinds of cultures i have seen during mk ultra but they have one thing in common they hoard they hoard they hoard they were completely without the control they lost control over themselves and then everything I was guilty I was guilty for just absolutely everything so I'm gonna tell mr. Vladimir Putin and I'm gonna tell to mr. Joe Biden and I'm gonna tell to all the people and despite that I was warned about not to do that kind of stuff because especially Joe Biden Joe Biden was hurt emotionally because of me because I was a fucking racist and guess what next to Russians I didn't like Irish either I hated Irish I fucking hated half of Europe and I hated Irish and I don't know Russians and everything I fucking hated everything was a hate I'm gonna say like this if you want my apology from me come and get it come and get it that's all I will say or give me your address and tell me where exactly wait for me do you want that apology delivered to you that's all I gotta say for this video folks uh, pre-planned meeting of Joe Biden and Vladimir Putin and what can I say um, Americans told me from the beginning we were skeptical I <laughs> also I don't know how you would be skeptical really because um, I I was not brought from the Russia I was brought in this home here 
from the United States of America, from Miami, Florida, a little bit, for torture, for all kinds of abuse, and from here, or before delivered here, I was distributed for torture purposes all over the Europe, all over the world, actually, by no one other than the United States of America. Russians that matter in the U.S. elections they did not hijack me from the United States of America unless they were escorted by American Central Agency, FBI, and so on. I'm only going to say, I will repeat the words of Americans. They told me, you know, from the beginning we were skeptical about this, um, doing this kind of stuff. Uh, but then we came to to reason that it's actually a really good fucking idea to or rather than to take people in Guantanamo and I was also in Guantanamo I also was in Guantanamo they tortured me also in Guantanamo I know Guantanamo too I was in Guantanamo too I have seen people over there I was threatened what they're gonna do with me in Guantanamo and they tortured me also in Guantanamo they did that stuff too I was told like this, man. I was told, rather than taking into Guantanamo, and there was this German case who also was involved in MKUltra, and they they took him. And it was actually German government. It was an Arab guy that they brought him to Sia in Bulgaria. They had like this torture camps in Bulgaria, and they tortured the guy in Bulgaria. I don't know, Egyptian or I don't know, Arab or whatever it is, it really makes no difference. He was in Germany, he worked like a normal human being, had really nothing to do with uh, any kind of terrorist movement or whatever, and all of a sudden the fucking man disappeared and got found himself over there somewhere in Bulgaria for uh, a good morning beating, basically. Uh, that it's better to actually just get a home of a person that needs to be tortured and then move in basically cutting in as expense we don't have to pay for the uh, you know for for a torture center and pretty much inside of the home even apartment buildings as long as they have a good window isolation sound isolation this shit can be done and it's listen it's done so, we learned from the Russians, American, with whom I very, very much disagree with, because I disagree with a lot of stuff. I think that the Russians learned a whole lot of stuff already, beginning with that embassy in Israel in 1995-1996. So that's all I want to say. Uh, now, if you were interested to follow uh, views and opinions of the top US government um, on how um, you know the reality the perception about this world um, you should view us um, it's always a mainstream media for you out there but I think for those aliens I think this case is a big fucking question and if they did, God forbid, got a hold of it, uh, or if they will, regardless, and this plan is going to be in a big shit, I think. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time. Since this video is about a lie, not actually a tie, you know, but you could say that in this case, tie is a lie. And lie is a tie because the two men you see here with two ties do have two lies. They are indifferent. Basically, when I think about how it all started in '95, the two are really, really indifferent for one another. I want this lie to go on by giving the two more opportunity to see where this whole thing is going to take. A lady I have mentioned in this uh, video was this one here, for which I was actually even told nothing until I make 
with one of these uh, baby. Literally, this is how far this abuse have gone. Nothing until I make with one of these uh, babies. So, me being a good-hearted person as I am, and to help this lie, and I should say this lie here, going. Yeah, Joe Biden had a special version on how I would do something with Kamala Harris in her... They did have me not only in the White House, but also in this house where she is staying. Um, all I want to do at this point in time, because I know 26 years of this Lies, lies, if you like, brought this world on the brink of existence. I, want, I just want to give it another chance. For the difference of the two politicians, or maybe three politicians, because, ladies and gentlemen, Kamala, I'm sorry. I apologize, but the thing about it is that 26 years of lives, lies, lies and lies, you must admit, would make anybody doubt just you watch the world falling apart around you uh, and you no longer know when it comes to the politic between the lies and ties maybe just maybe the aliens for the difference of these politicians perhaps even yourself you are a member of this club because I did prove the existence of MK Ultra with the physical proofs because of that. Maybe that's why too. Obviously that I am more legitimate. Obviously that I am real. They would spare me. Or keep me for a little longer around. But I have no doubt that the politicians you have seen today before the initial contract, this sub alien human beings, I think they would destroy them on well, before the contact. And I think humanity alone would be punished because of people like this in a big way. And that's just a fact, not even my opinion just can't uh, I apologize for using false language but there is a place and time uh, for everything and I think in a such a dirty politic uh, refraining myself from using it would actually be in proper way from my perspective because be just dealing with the lowest of the lowest scum If aliens, not yet, I just suppose, if aliens, not yet, not just yet, most definitely God is what I would say to Vladimir Putin and to Joe Biden, American president, God does hate you. There is no doubt in my mind about that because uh, you are a poor excuse for what some would still think about, classify you as pathetic excuse, ugly pathetic excuse. Human being, 